Another day to live through. Better get started. <laughs> I slept with a torch in my hand. <laughs> it's my nightlight. There's no nightlight here in Infected. This is all I got, at least right now, anyway. Let's drop that now. We don't need it today. The sun is up. It's a gorgeous day. It is now day 8, 7 o'clock in the morning, August slash summer. But winter is coming, my friends. Winter is coming. I can sniff it in the air. <laughs> oh, that's just my socks. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, so I've been working hard here <laughs> off camera doing lots of grindy work. Um, we've got two forges going now, as you can see here, trying to make all the iron ingots. And we should get a couple here. There we go. Look at that. Cranking them out. Cranking them out like nobody's business. Let's get some more rocks on there. Oh boy, we're running a little low on the rocks, so we're going to have to go out and hammer on some boulders or something. Why don't we throw, uh, let's do a couple of copper over here, I guess. Got to keep this thing going while we have some flame. Flame is just about out. Let's get some firewood on there. All the things we have to do here as a survivor in uh, the infected. Check out all the iron. There's 20 there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 2 is according to my calculations, beep, 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 20 plus 2, so that's 22. And that's just enough, my friends, to make the mineral extractor um, and even a couple of extra um, nails. I think you need nails, actually, to make the darn thing, too. So let's check that out right here. Yes, indeed, we do. 18 iron ingots, 8 planks, 8 nails, and 20 screws. Uh, do we have any more copper? Yeah, we got two copper right here. We can make screws with that. Wow, the neighbor's here looking for the sugar. Is that Sally? Oh, it is Sally. Sally over here. Sa Sally, I got your sugar right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. You know what? She didn't return the sugar last week, so this is what she gets. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to get attacked now. Um, it's day eight. I don't know what happened with the swarm. Aren't we supposed to get swarmed at some point? I think so, but uh, the swarm has not come by yet, so we just get the occasional visitor stopping in, saying hello, screeching in my ears, essentially. Uh, now, what were we doing? Yeah, I wanted to get, get make some screws. Get screws? Yeah, we can get screws, just like that. There's ten screws, um, and we have a couple of more copper coming. Yeah, I, I know we need to make a whole bunch of things for winter. In particular, I think we're going to need... Um, the coal, there's a coal-fired um, stove, and we need to do that. It's like a wooden wood stove, except that it uses coal. <laughs> and we can put that in the house and stay cozy warm through the winter. And I think we're going to need that relatively soon. That's going to take 10 iron ingots, though. And I want to, I kind of want to get the mineral extractor going as well. I mean, we need them both. You need the mineral extractor to get coal. So we need them both. We need them both, so we just need a lot more iron, and we need, we're need we going to need some stones for that. So let's go grab some stones and take care of a few more things this morning. Um, and I want to make a new flask. we got all this um, got all this aluminum here. Aluminum, 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 aluminum allows us to make a flask. This guy right here. Check it out. Three aluminum ingots. And I think we do that here. One, two, three. Large flask. Woohoo! Yeah, look at that thing. Where is it? Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> so bear with me as we get our morning tasks underway. We should probably go fishing and get some meat as well. So a, apparently what we need for the uh, the oil, ex uh, the mineral extractor is biofuel. It runs on biofuel. Uh, we do have some biofuel, but we're going to need more. There goes the, the morning sheep. Heading to work this morning. All right, let's go catch a tuna. Oh, that's not a spear. It's my spear. Wee! Good morning, Bruce. Where's Bruce? <laughs> Yo, Bruce. Oh, there's Bruce. Oh, hi, Bruce. Look at the size of Bruce. Got him. Is that Bruce? Oh, I think that is a tuna. Maybe that's a trout. I don't know. You know, they all tend to look the same. That's a tuna. That's Bruce. All right. Yeah. So as I was saying, what we want to do is take some of this meat and we just want to stick it in a chest so it rots. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, is it Fred? This is Sally's, Sally's husband. Oh, Fred, Sally was here. Um, she just left. You just missed her. <laughs> it's just wandering around in my yard. 
<laughs> Should we kill a sheep too? I mean, they have meat. Oh, there he goes. I hear the, um, yeah, oh, whoa, coming right at us. He's a beast. Wow, <laughs> he just bucked me. <laughs> grab, grab that arrow and then poke him. Mm. Wow, man, he's, whoa, what the heck's going on? <laughs> he's trying to climb up his back and he bucked me. There's a little bit of meat too. Yeah, I think what I want to do is use the, the fish meat. Apparently spoils very quickly in chests. So we're going to put some fish meat in the chest to spoil. Let's put the raw meat here. We're going to cook it up on the grill. And we're going to put this meat, I guess, uh, we'll put it in here. It doesn't stack, huh? It does not stack. We'll just put it there and let it rot. All right. I have a plan. Let's build up this stones crate right here. We need nails. I have eight nails on me. And we need two more nails. So let's go ahead. Oh, what's that? Something sizzling. I think the, uh, yeah, this forge is out. That's fine. I wanted it to go out because I wanted to move it over a wee bit next to this one. But first you got to move it here. And then we can squeeze it in next to this guy. Right. Can I? Yes, I can. Right there. Perfect. Um, I'm not going to get that going again right now until we get more rocks. But let's, um, let's make up our rock container so we can carry that with us. I think we can carry this with us with rocks in it. Um, I know we can't do that anymore with the, uh, with the log carrier. But I think we can do that with this. We're going to test it out. One more plank. One more plank. Boom. All right, let's pick it up. Let's bring it out here. Let's go find rock somewhere. Got to be a rock around here somewhere. One little rock. Well, I guess we can bring it over here to these big rocks. Bang on a rock and then bring it home with us. I'm going to find out right now. Hopefully I have my pickaxe with me. Yes, I do. <laughs> you never know. It's like uh, it's like potluck. You just press a number and the tool whips out. You never know what you're going to get. Because there's only four slots in this game. Which is crazy in the hot bar. All right, let's put him in there. And can I pick it up? Yes. Yes, it's glorious. Yay. That's one good thing. That will reduce the grind a tiny bit. And that makes me happy. Man, you really can't see these stones in the grass, can you? In the foliage. Lots of foliage. I was thinking about maybe going to the caves because we can get iron in the caves, from the stones in the caves, and there's a small chance you're going to get iron. You don't always get iron, but you're not going to get iron here, apparently. So they've changed the map, and it's really odd the way they've done it. So each part of the map, like each starting area, has specific minerals in it. I think the one we're in right now will have copper. So the stones that you break in this area will potentially have copper in it, but I think only in the starting area. And when you put in a mineral extractor, it's only going to find or extract a specific mineral, I think. Or at least maybe uh, with a higher probability. Again, I'm not entirely sure how all that works. Maybe you guys know. And if you do, put it down in the comments and we will uh, we'll figure it all out sooner or later. Might as well grab this stone here too while we're at it. I'm going to need a new pickaxe pretty soon, too. Yeah, I love how these rocks go uphill <laughs> when you destroy the boulder. All right, lots of rocks here. I'm probably missing a few here and there. I'm basically just spamming the E key, walking through the brush. Yep, there's another one. Told you. And I, these will not stick around either. They will despawn eventually. So we want to make sure we get them all. Put them in there pick this thing up <laughs> and carry it back home it is glorious so there's a log cart apparently that we can make and that's how you transport logs now because you can't pick them up from the log the log um, in the log rack anymore as we had demonstrated in another episode um, but this is certainly doable now can we can we move this rack with the wood in it yes all right, good. Well, we're going to have to do that because I'm going to put the rocks right next to it over here. And we'll have a great supply of rocks right next to the furnaces and we'll keep this thing cranking 
all day long, baby. Let's do it. I'm gonna need some more firewood, probably. Two logs in each, and spark them up. Whoops. Spark this one up. There we go. Anything in there? No. Let me grab the rocks and plop them in there. Glorious. Okay. It's now 1223. What shall we do? I think we need to decide what we want to make first, either the mineral extractor or the um, the, the heater thing. Oh boy, hold on, we got company. It's Sally again. Sally, I told you, I'm all out of sugar. Fred was looking for you, by the way. He went uh, that direction, I believe. <laughs> what did she drop? Oh, sand, we can make glass. Nice. Maybe I should make another furnace. Maybe we should just do three furnaces. Hmm. I might want to do that. We have so many rocks. Well, we'll go with two for now. Because we can turn that sand into glass. And then we can make... Uh, we can put some windows in. We have a lot of holes in our house. Alright, what do we want to make? Mineral extractor or the heater? Let's have a look at them both right now. The heater is... This little guy right here. A coal heater. Ten ingots... And 10 screws or the mineral extractor well I guess it makes the most sense to make the uh, the mineral extractor first since we do have some biofuel available for it oops can I put that in there yeah and uh, we can't do anything with the coal heater until we get coal anyway right and we get coal from the mineral extractor so it seems to make the most sense to make the mineral extractor I just don't know how it's going to work here in our in our area but let's just plop it down and find out we can always move it right i'm assuming we can move it after we build it and put it down so let's just drop it right here placeables others mineral extractor oh it's a big one we'll just plop it right there very good and now we fill it up fill it up with some iron ingots it needs if i recall it was 18 iron ingots right how many can i carry without being overloaded what? What the heck? <laughs> it's Fred again, looking for Sally. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, Fred. Sally. Yeah, she. I think she did go in that way. You're right. Just keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. <laughs> Fred and Sally, my favorite neighbors. They're so great. A lot of fun. Those two. All right, let's go grab, I got the nails, and now I need the rest of the iron, and we should be good to go. So I had nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and yeah, baby, we're going to start extracting the minerals. Twenty, there we go, ooh, opened it right up. Power on and off, we need, we need the fuel. We do have a few, bi a few biofuels. Got from, I think from the town, and Fred or Sally dropped one off for me one day, too. <laughs> very, very nice of them. Should I put all of it in there? No, let's split it. I'm just curious. Let's we'll see how this thing works. And then we just turn it on. It comes complete with a, uh, with a generator. Oh, you can extract just stone. Okay. Is it going? What's that noise? Sounds really, really quiet. That's good. That's good. So time till next extraction is five minutes. Wow. Well, we're either going to get probably copper or copper ore or coal or maybe a little bit of both. Again, I don't know how this thing works. So we'll just wait and see. In the meantime, I'm going to make up some more planks, maybe gather some more wood. Time is it? Two o'clock. Yeah, see, now it's already fall. Wow. Wow. Time flies here in the infected donut. And let's keep this thing going, too, because we're going to need lots more iron for the uh, the coal heater. I was also going to make this shelf right here, an ingot shelf. It only holds iron ingots, which is really weird. So there's a, a special shelf for each and every type of ingot. But I'm not going to waste an iron on that because we're going to have to make nails for it. And I feel like at this point, I want to get the heater up 
and running before we start messing with more furniture, because this requires nails as well. Alright, let's stoke these fires a little bit more. Don't want them to go out. Okay, well, um, what next? Oh, thirst. We should drink. That's dirty water. We don't want that. Let's drink the clean water. We should probably eat some meats. And did we put the fish away? Yeah, we did. Let's go check on our fish. I don't know how long it's going to take for that fish to spoil. Oh, it says right here, 13 minutes. Wow. That's pretty fast. Let's go check on our crops over here. We have a melon. Let's harvest that. Put the seeds right back in. We're going to have to move this indoors. Um... Shoot, maybe I should have moved it in now. Ooh, there's a wolf. Because the crops will die in the uh, in the cold weather. I'm not sure if they'll die during the fall. But I do know they'll definitely die during the winter. So we want this thing inside. And I'd like to make one more planter as well. However, the planters do require nails. And I don't want to waste my iron right now. So, yeah, everything is so expensive when it comes to when it comes to the furniture. Um, and I don't want to waste my iron on them. So furniture and the comforts, creature comforts of home is just gonna have to wait. Oh yeah, those melons are good for the vitamins and the carbs. Go ahead and get some more water going and maybe get some more fish. So yeah, today it was really mostly just sort of a day of tasks around the house getting prepared for the winter we're gonna have to make up some winter clothes too which I think we can do very very easily I think I can already do that I think I have all the ingredients man you really need two flasks one for filling this thing up and one for drinking all right empty that let's get a fire in here and bring some of this firewood inside as well this doesn't need much of a fire it sticks away. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go fishing. There's a whole bunch of this running around. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right. How, how many minutes have passed? <laughs> oh, look at that. Almost perfect timing. 25 seconds left. I'm super excited to see what this thing is going to give us. Hopefully we get some coal, and I hope the heater can heat this entire house. It's kind of tall, and there's a lot of holes in it, so I suppose we'll just wait and see. I can remove those walls, the, the windowed walls, and just replace them with non-windowed walls. Oh, what do we get? A stone? It says right here, extract only stone. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Um, that's not what I wanted. Maybe I should move this. Maybe I should move it into the woods and get it out of this location. Because this location is specific for minerals, but um, we got a stone, not even the mineral. I don't know. If you guys know the answer, put it down in the comments. Please let me know what I can do to get what I want, like coal and not stones. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, no. Axe. Yes, axe. That's what I was looking for. Whipped out my bone spear wrong tool for this job. Wow! Oh, it's Sally. Ah. Friend is just here, Sally. You guys just keep missing each other. <laughs> By about five minutes apiece. Got some fat. Sally brought me some fat. That's nice. Very, very thoughtful, that Sally. Oh, look! It's uh, Fred and Sally's dog. <laughs> Looking for Fred and Sally, apparently. Um, yeah. I don't know. That family. They seem to lose each other a lot, don't they? Oh, there's some copper ore. Okay. We got copper that time. I still want coal. How do we get coal? I think I have to move it outside of this area, which I will do once uh, once that first initial biofuel runs out. I'll move it out into the woods somewhere, and then we'll either get, my guess is, either stones or, or, uh, or coal. Stones or coal? That, I don't mind. I think Spot found Sally's trail. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah, when that oil runs out, we're going to move it into the woods, and we'll probably have a better shot. I think I'm being chased. 
Oh yeah, we are. Oh yeah, we are. Spot, his friend and Sally are not here. Go. Go home. Oh man, I'm full. I gotta get out there. Spot, go. Don't make me shoot you. Oh, there he goes. Okay, you know what? Just, we can be friends. Oh, dang it. He's galloping over again. Shoot. Oh, is he attacking something? What are you attacking? He's fighting something. Stop. 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 Yes, he's attacking my sawmill, I think. Oh, I'm so sorry, Spot. Oh, well. Spot was a good dog. <laughs> Hopefully, Fred and Sally don't take it out on me. <laughs> hey, listen, what Fred and Sally don't know won't hurt them, right? Better hide the evidence right in this box. Yes, and why do I have so many sticks? Because I'm full, that's why. All right. Full of sticks. Wow, all right. We're really cranking out the iron right now. Frankly, this is this is pretty good. All right, we're back up to eight iron ingots. All right, not too shabby. We'll be there. We'll be there soon. It's going to take a little while, but we'll have our, um, we'll have the coal heater here shortly. I just want to see if we can get at least one bit of coal here. What is that? Oh, Sally! Sally's sniffing. She's on, she's on Spot's trail. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. She's coming this way. Well, you know, there's a leash law around here, Sally. You can't just let your dog roam free. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, what'd she drop? What'd she give us? Iron ore. Nice. All right. That'll make things a little easier. See, they're not so bad. They're not so bad, the Vamby family. Fred and Sally Vamby. Let's go grab some more fish. No. Yes. <laughs> Can you drown in this game? I don't know. I mean, I've been underwater now for about three minutes, and so they feel fine. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, let's drop the fish, harvest it, check on the food. Oh, 30 seconds, look at that. Man, our timing is almost impeccable these days. Actually, what does it take to make the biofuel? I mean, the biofuel seems like it lasts a long time in the uh, mineral extractor, which is fantastic, but I'm wondering how much spoiled food you need. Three, okay, well that answers my question. So we have five in here right now. We're gonna need at least one more fish in there. So let's just drop one more fish, and we'll get a couple of biofuel, and then in the meantime, I think what I might do is, well, let's grab this dried stuff off here. And we'll dry the rest of this. The dried meat doesn't give you as much fat, and you do need the fats. Your body needs the fats, but the dried does last a lot longer. Yeah, we get 15 fat out of this guy right here. It's not terrible. All right. Okay, let's have a sip. Whoa! Wow! That was a lot. <laughs> Didn't realize how thirsty I was. Let's go check our mineral extractor. And we got coal. We got coal. Yes! Finally! Yeah, the fuel here lasts a long time. That's the one good news about this. Alright, so we got coal. So now we can make our coal heater. Well, we don't have enough iron yet, but we will be able to make that coal heater very, very soon. Actually, do we? I think it was 10, right? So we're, we're a couple short. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We got it. We got it. We got everything we need. I'm trying to grab that guy up there. It's not going to work. Um, yes, we do indeed. So we could make it right now, right? Or do we need nails for this thing? I doubt it. That would be really weird. Coal heater. Screws. 10 screws, 10 ingots. All right. Well, we can do it. Except that we need some screws. We used up all our screws on the extractor, but now we have another 10. There we go. Let's get our little coal heater going, and then we'll be done for the day. This guy. Can I squeeze him under the stairs? No, not quite, but we'll just put it right here for now. Can I always move it, right? I think so. All right, add the materials. 10 screws and 10 ingots are coming. Oh, man, it goes so fast, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like making a Thanksgiving dinner that, that takes seven hours to cook and only, like, 30 minutes to eat. Anyway, it's it's beautiful. It's so cute. Let's open it up. Um, I'm not going to put the fuel in now. We don't need it. So let's put the fuel. Where can we put the fuel? Let's I'll put the fuel over here for now. 
One coal. You know, we want to store that away for winter. And I think we can use the coal in these furnaces, the forge, forges, or whatever they are, and also in campfires, which would be a waste because we can just put firewood in here, which makes more sense to me. Um, all right. Well, this is cool. All right. I like it. I like it. Another minute and a half, and we'll get something else out of our little mineral extractor. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to call it quits right now, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Infected. And we shall see you next time. Is my plant ready to be harvested? Oh, yes, it is. All right, that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Oh, wait, before you go. Before you go, let's check on our spoiled food. It is spoiled. Not all of it, but most of it. Now we have to wait... A few more minutes, but let's make up one biofuel, I guess. It's one, two, and three. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. And you just get one biofuel. Oh, you get three biofuel. Wait, or did I have two on me? I had two on me. Okay, so it makes one. It still ain't terrible, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Big storm. Big storm coming. All right. Um, yeah, now we can say goodbye. I'm going to close the door, hunker down here by my furnaces, and keep them cranking. Oops. Looks like I forgot to put more rocks on there. Didn't I? <laughs>